Hi, I'm C.L. Fanari, and today I want to show you how to plant up a mixed container using some of my favorite plants, and how to do something a little unusual to add an instant vertical element to this potted container. I have the container filled with a good quality organic potting soil, and it's already damp. You always want to use a moistened potting mix for your containers. I'm going to take a couple of handfuls of this Proven Winners Job's Organic Fertilizer and, and mix it into the soil so that the plants will be well fed during the summer. And now I'm ready to show you some of my absolute favorite plants. And I've chosen these plants for both contrast and complement. Let me tell you what I mean. You want both foliage and flowers that contrast with each other, that are different, and things that complement each other, things that repeat the same color or the same element. So here we have Frosty Night Lobularia, commonly called Alyssum. And I'm going to take Frosty Night, and I am going to put him right in the front. We'll rinse the dirt off later, so I don't worry about that. He's going to spill out and have that beautiful variegated foliage and the white flowers all summer long. I'm going to kind of repeat the yellow in this foliage with a calabrocoa. This is my favorite calabrocoa. This is Super Bell's Lemon Slice. And I have used lemon slice in the ground as well as containers in the past, and I know it just flowers its heart out all summer long. Now you see how the foliage here contrasts. We've got the variegation on Frosty Night and the bright green of the Calabrocoa. So I'm going to put another one on this side over here. And now I need something that the flower color is going to contrast with all the yellow and the white that's going on. And what goes better with yellow and white than blue? So I'm going to use New Wonder Scavola on the back side here. And the wonderful thing about scavola is that it will intertwine and work its way through the whole container. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more of the potting mix on the edges in the gaps. Not packing it in too tightly because you want the air spaces there so that the roots can all grow in easily so they don't have to fight to get into the mix there. Now, we need a vertical element, and I'm going to do two things in this container. Number one, I'm going to put a couple of my favorite vertical plants. This is Strobilanthes, or Persian Shield. And this has purple foliage that will contrast with the yellow and the green, right? But it's going to complement the blue and the scavola once the scavola starts to flower. And we're also going to use um, this Duranta which has contrasting yellow foliage, but that is going to repeat the yellow that's in the Frosty Night and the Lemon Slice Calabricola. Now for our final upright element, and this is where we're going to have some fun, because I'm sure that you have pruned, you know, kind of wavy, funky sticks out of trees and shrubs before, one of the things we do when we prune is take out something that's funky or crossed branches, unusual. We'll save those because they are the perfect upright element in a container. And the curvier, the weirder, the better. I think this one I'm going to turn that way so that it comes out and in. And this one is going to be over on this side. All right. And so here we have a very rustic support. First, I'll put in this beautiful black-eyed Susan vine that is going to grow up the sticks. And once that's in place, I can take the garden gloves off and tie it with raffia. All right. Black-eyed Susan vine in place. Need a little more potting soil over here. Okay. Once the container is all planted up and you're done, 
Then you're going to want to water it right away. I'll water it, that will clean off the dirt that's on the foliage. As the black-eyed Susan vine grows during the course of the summer, I will wind it around these stakes and up and down. There we go. Now, I can put on the raffia tie. These are all plants that are going to grow and flower beautifully all summer long. The strobilanthes, the uh, Persian shield here, the dark purple foliage, that's going to grow up and around the support as well. So later on in the summer, I should have the purple leaves of the Persian shield mixing in not only with the gold of the Duranta, but also with the vine of the black-eyed Susan. And here's a tip, uh, the final thing that I do, I take the tags, particularly if I'm using a plant that's new to me, and I will just group them together and poke them down into the soil, but so that they don't show. And then that way, should I forget what I've used, um, I can just pull that tag out and I know the name right away. Happy gardening!